Hey, it's Adam from Bellwood Guitars, and I'm here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Uh, today, I was going to talk to you about earthing your electric guitar builds. So, well, your Cigar Box Guitars that use electric guitar pickups, or magnetic pickups, in other words. Right, so, as you know, many of our Cigar Box Guitars are built using these little puppies, or the rod variety. I prefer these. It's a personal thing. Um, otherwise, we will use those types of pickups, which are, of course, magnetic or electric guitar pickups. Now, the problem with using these is if you don't earth them, you end up with this god-awful buzz that will drive you insane for the rest of your playing life. Um, it's not difficult to actually earth these guitars. So if you're not earthing them, uh, if you're building these and you're earthing them, and you're not earthing them, you're really kind of doing your, your, yourself and your customers a bit of a disservice, okay? Um, if you want to play these live on stage and you're going to play them through a big PA or a big amp or using a big amplifier, the buzz that comes off these things if you don't put your hands on the strings is just, it's as annoying as hell. So here's a tip, okay? It's not difficult. Get yourself a roll of this stuff off eBay or from your local... Luthier supply store. Okay, it's just copper tape. You can tear it off. It's very flexible. Okay, some people shield the inside of uh, electric guitar cavities using these. Uh, a lot of people don't. Um, I don't. I don't. Um, but what I do is I make sure that I earth the strings. Now, there's two different ways of doing it. It's more than two, but there's two basic ways of doing this, um, using the tape. Now, the first way is to use an electric guitar style bridge. Okay, so I just happen to have one here. Okay, so what you'll notice here is that I've put some conductive tape. Now, here are the four screw holes for the bridge. One, two, three, and four. And as you can see, when it goes on, it'll cover directly that little piece of copper tape. Now... Uh, you can scrape the bottom of these as well a little bit, but the the actual the, the the covering on this or the chroming on this is actually conductive material as well, so you don't really need to. Um, what you will need to do is use one of these little things. Okay, this is going to be a lead, and this is going to go to one of the pots, which will be earthed inside the guitar. So what I do is I'll slide that in. I'll put a little twist in it. It just thickens it up if you put a little twist in it, I find. All right, so it's sitting like that. Okay, and then the bridge will simply slide over and get screwed on top. Now, what happens then is that the strings will become earthed. Okay, so you won't get that horrible buzz. All right, so that's on that style of guitar. But I'm going through a stage at the moment where I'm building a lot more of the traditional style cigar box guitars, which are still using electric guitar pickups. And that's slightly more challenging. So there's another way that you can do it, not using the copper tape, and I'll just explain that very, very quickly. What you can do is build a standard type of floating bridge, flatten the top a little bit, drill a hole through it, saw it using a fret saw, put a fret on top, and that'll transfer the, the, the earth from the strings That'll actually earth the strings, okay? And then that, that cable will go through the top of your, uh, through the top of your, the cigar box guitar box into the cavity, and then you can earth it to the output jack or earth it to the volume pot, so on and so forth. So that's that way. But we're not focusing on this today. We're actually focusing on the copper taping. Here is a cigar box guitar that I'm working on at the moment. Now, this will be a fretted, possibly. It may stay fretless. I'm not sure. I'm still making my mind up. So either way, the frets or fretless, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter is the fact that there is going to be a flat electric guitar pickup sitting on the top of the box. And that will need to be earthed, okay? Or your strings will need to be earthed in that case. But as you can see here, I've, I'm going to be using string pegs, acoustic string pegs on the back here. No, I won't. I'll use the old-fashioned rivets. That's what I was going to do. The old-fashioned rivets. So I'll be popping that off, and the rivet will go 
into the hole. Okay, but how do I earth the strings using that method? Now, as I said before, I could use this method with the fret, um, uh, with the fret being earth via a wire, drill a hole through the body, and then it just sits like that. That does work, all right, but I find it a little bit finicky and I don't trust it a whole heck of a lot. But what I can do is with these guitars, and I'm just gonna grab another one, because this is actually being glued in, so I'm just gonna have to rethink this. Oh, I'll do it on the top. All right, so as you can see, all right, you've got your box there, okay? And what I'll do, all I do is measure this out, fold it, and you can't see what I'm doing here because the, the picture's on me, which is not necessarily great. All right. Now, I'll cut this out and cut it to the shape that I want. Okay. I'll try and do this somewhat carefully. Go into the box. What I'll probably do at that stage is I'm going to create a lip. I'll tidy up the side there. Like Mr. Maker. Today, kids, we're going to earth your cigar box guitar. Okay. So, now you'll notice I've got this nice little piece of copper here. Now, be careful because it likes to roll. All right, now I'm going to put the copper tape on the top in this case. I think I'll redo this a little. Oh, no, that's not too bad. All right. Now, the copper taping is conductive. I'm just going to pop one of these rivets now for you. So as you see, this is how I do it. Get the rivet, put in the pliers, bang it on the table. Easy as that. No need for advice. There it is there. Pop the rivet into the guitar. I'm just going to do the one. I'm not going to do all of them. Right, you can see now what's happened. Okay, now no need for anything fancy. Um, I can still, if I wish to, I can still actually put some um, some um, uh, some clear over the top of this if I wanted to, just to protect it a little bit more. Um, often, what I'll do, to be honest with you, is put it on the underside before I actually glue these into the box. Okay, but at the moment I haven't. I kind of this. It's an afterthought after thinking thinking about doing this video, to be honest with you. I was actually just going to do this with Piezo, because you can see the little little groove there for the Piezo pickup. Anyway, I'll probably end up using doing this as an electric guitar. So what will happen now is that the strings will go over the top of the body, over the top, over the bridge, connect here. It'll go into the body and be latched in behind with another rivet there. But what happens is now that the earthing, the string is actually earthed, through here, through the copper tape, which is conductive, over to the little lip there. And the wonderful thing is with this, you can use a little blob of solder, or solder. I'm Australian, so we say solder. Just here on the on the side, and I can attach a wire to that, to the earth on the output jack, or to the volume pot. All right, so I hope that helps. Okay, if you like what you're seeing here, press subscribe for us. Um, also, uh, there's more, uh, interviews on the Cigar Box Guitar Builder podcast uh, on Podbean and or iTunes. Um, please leave comments, messages, anything that you like. It's all fine. Um, yeah, so it's been Adam from Birdwood Guitars. And I'm here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. So go out there and have some fun. Bye.